So DIN rail is something that I'd been ignoring uh, up until recently. I had always uh, considered it probably too expensive for hobbyist or occasional use for someone like myself, uh, but I've been using this uh, in the uh, Seismic Vault, the secret project of 2024, if you look back at those videos. Uh, and yeah, it's not actually as cost prohibitive as I thought it would be, and it's actually a really cool system. Uh, DIN rail, in case you don't know, is just a standardized metal railing. I believe uh, 35 millimeter is the, uh, the, the most common size. There are two or three different sizes. Uh, heights. Uh, it's a European standard. You see it in uh, industrial cabinets, electrical cabinets, things like that. And it's just a way of mounting components to those cabinets. And they actually, you know, manufacture components specifically designed to mount to DIN rail like this uh, breaker. This is just a two amp breaker. And on this one, you could either pull it with a finger, you could pop it with a screwdriver, but it just snaps on to the to the DIN rail and then you've got your uh, terminals for the uh, for adding your wires and you've got a breaker mounted. These guys here are uh, terminal blocks, um, you know, just pass through terminal blocks. And then this is actually an industrialized uh, Raspberry Pi Zero case that just uh, snaps on here too. This one's a little harder just because uh, this isn't mounted to anything, but it just um, snaps on to the DIN rail. And you can get all kinds of components. I relays, Raspberry Pi cases, various other things. You can even get clips uh, just on their own, or even uh, there are tons of models out there of 3D printable DIN rail clips that you can either incorporate into your model or just print individually so you can get stuff mounted to it. And the stuff for this is not actually that uh, expensive. These are, these terminal blocks are Dinkle, which I think is a decent uh, brand. And I got these off Amazon. I think it was, I don't forget how many it came with it, but it actually came with a bunch of the terminal blocks on this piece of DIN rail itself, and it was maybe 30 bucks or something like that. The uh, breaker, Phoenix Contact, so it's not some no-name brand, bought this from DigiKey. This was 15 bucks, um, so not a big deal. The only thing that was a little bit more expensive, have going with the DIN rail version versus just a regular version, uh, is the relay that I got to control the load for some stuff uh, with the, uh, the solar, the seismic vault, and that's, mostly because I had some very specific requirements, but the price that I paid for the relay, by the time I would have gotten a standard relay and put it on like a perf board or something like that, you know, more than made up for the fact that it was a little bit more expensive. So yeah, so DIN rail is pretty cool. Like I said, I've been sleeping on it just because I thought it was probably cost prohibitive for hobbyists and stuff like that, but it's actually not. And it's a great way of getting things mounted and keeping things organized and stuff like that. So uh, check it out.